Hello, yoga family. Hello, yoga community. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back to the mat, the best place to practice yoga for your body, mind, and soul. Today's class is a warrior flow for strength and balance. And I've designed the class to really help us shift from a feeling of fear to a feeling of empowerment. So throughout the class, we're going to use the poses, use the breath work, and use our energetics that are at play to shift from any situation that's causing fear, that's causing self-doubt, that's causing low self-worth into a state of empowerment, really feeling like we're living in our wisdom bodies, discerning, making the best decision within each present moment. So that is my intention for you and I on the mat together. We'll move through a practice and then we'll end with what's called a mudra, a hand gesture, and a prayer for honoring fear. We're going to start at the top of our mats. You don't need any props until the very end of the class. I am going to recommend something to sit atop of, but that's recommended, not required. So let's begin at the top of our mat, standing. <sighs> And feet are at a comfortable width distance for you. That might be hip width distance, a little bit wider or narrower. And as you can see, I'm rocking forward and back on my feet, really trying to find that sense of grounding here. So feeling all four corners of the foot, all 10 toes, you might wanna pick them up and then fan them back out feeling the big toe and the pinky toe both pressed down, the inner and outer heel, and letting that earth plane connection travel up through the limbs, the legs, these channels that connect us to the earth beneath, and pulling that strength and that structure and that stability up through the body, kneecaps lifting, thighs firming, hip points rising, the abdomen is tightening as the lower ribs are dropping. The shoulders are broadening. Back of the head is lifting, chin releasing. You might have your eyes closed, turning the palms to face out, rotating the shoulders open, feeling this sense of strength and stability right here right here in Tadasana, Mountain Pose. Taking a moment to center on and bring into your awareness something that feels fearful for you. For me, returning to teaching yoga feels fearful. Being exposed on camera, feeling like all of my clothes are tight, feeling like the reflection in the mirror that I see is very different from the woman that I was before I grew and birthed a child. Feeling a bit foreign from cueing the postures and guiding people through this transformative experience that happens on our mat. So bringing into your awareness something that feels fearful. And knowing that at any time your yoga practice is here to help shift your state of being, whether it's physical, energetic, mental, emotional, intellectual, or spiritual, to help you shift into these higher states of being. Out of the mind chowder, out of the inner critic, out of all the external noise. So we draw inward and we draw inward towards the wisdom, towards the discernment towards what I like to call our inner mentor from Tara Moore's work, towards that spiritual essence, that self with a capital S. And that's the warrior within, right? Let's take three centering breaths here before we begin moving. Next, inhale, sweep the arms overhead. And if you had the eyes closed, please open them. Find a frame with your hands. So interlace opposite 
hand to opposite elbow and cup that elbow and then see if you can lift this arm package higher towards the sky, the waist, the side body growing longer, feeling space being made between each vertebra here, continuing to root down through all corners of the feet, kneecaps lift, thighs firm, hip points lift towards the ribs, ribs are pointing down towards the hip point. So you have this bracing action here. Beautiful. Knowing that often our fears are a figment of our imagination, not always, but often. And it's really creating this shift in perspective, this shift in our attitude, this shift in how we are talking to ourselves to tap into that inner warrior. Beautiful here, inhale the arms up. Grab the left hand, take it around the right wrist, reach up even higher and take it over to the left. Continue to root down through the outer edge of the right foot here. Lengthen all the way up through the right side body, through the right fingertips, one more breath. Maybe out the mouth for the exhale. Reach back up, switch the grip, right hand around left wrist, grow taller, take it over to the right. Last breath, maybe sigh on the exhale. Come back through to center, reach the fingertips high and exhale, fold through the midline. Hip creases reach back, navel reaching up, chin staying down, folding forward, nice and slow, head drops heavy. Inhale, lift up halfway, really push into the shins to lengthen from tailbone to crown. Make this a strong posture, please, and exhale, fold. Inhale, root to rise. Palms touch, exhale, hands down through heart center. We'll take a half sun salutation again. Inhale, sweep the arms high. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift up halfway, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, fold. Inhale, push down through the feet to lift all the way up. Rise up into that inner warrior. Exhale, hands down through heart center. Again, reach the fingertips high. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, step back into downward facing dog. Adho Mukha Svanasana. Push down through the pointer and the thumb. Firm those arms so you push the earth plane away and then rotate the armpits towards the heart here. Ears in line with the biceps and maybe pedaling the feet out. Feeling and connecting with the earth plane, the root chakra. The element is earth here. This is our center for security, stability, trust, belonging, health, physical well-being, vitality, prosperity, abundance, so much going on here, trust. And so pulling that earth plane into your posture Three more breaths. Last inhale. Exhale, soften the knees. Inhale to sweep that right arm up towards the sky, moving into thread the needle. Exhale, wind it through, right ear down. Choose where this left hand is going. It can wrap around the body. You can also reach it all the way towards the top of the mat. This is one of my favorites. Three breaths here. Softening. Last 
Left hand returns in front of the face, push into the mat, unfurl, reach that right arm back up. Plant it down, immediately other side, inhale the left arm high. Exhale, weave it through, left ear comes down, right hand, choose where it goes. Send that right hip back in space too, please. Three breaths with me. Slide that right hand back, push down to unravel, left arm reaches, and place that hand back down. Moving into sunbird, we'll start with the right leg back here, toes tucked under, firm the whole abdomen, torso area, and then extend this right leg up, reaching with the inner thigh, so inner thigh of the Right leg is spiraling up towards the sky here. Push back through the right heel, corset the waist, and then extend the left arm. Left arm can also stay on the ground. Three breaths here. Can you get even longer from right heel through left fingertips? Continue to push the ground away with the right hand. One more breath. And now exhale, tap both toes and fingers down, and then inhale, lift again. We'll move like this. Two more. Beautiful, left hand returns. Now listen carefully, swing the right leg up and around. And we're opening up into a warrior two variation. So right foot is forward, the back left foot swung around, and I windmill the hands open into warrior two. Extend through the fingertips, broaden through the chest, tailbone descending down towards the ground, and gaze forward. So thinking about the chakra system, which you know I love working with, a warrior needs strength, a warrior needs stability, a warrior needs to trust itself, right? A warrior needs health and vitality, so that's all root chakra. The warrior, keep breathing, also needs to be flexible and fluid and uh, be able to move like water, sacral chakra. Also powerful, energetic, vibrant, right? able to digest the situation, thoughts, feelings, and assimilate that, that's solar plexus. One more breath here. Windmill the hands down, we'll go through the rest of the chakras on the other side, bring that right leg back, take a moment, cat cow with me. Two more. Awesome, neutral tabletop, extend the left leg back and gaze forward, firm the torso and lift the left leg. Please lead with the inner thigh, spiraling towards the sky, left hip dropping down towards the mat. Gaze forward and extend the right fingertips. If you're coming with me, reach from the heel all the way through the fingertips, three breaths. Inhale, exhale, lower down, tap and lift and tap and lift and tap and lift. Two more. My back leg is shaking and lift. Right hand down, swing that left leg around. Coming into this warrior two variation, windmill the hands open, broaden through the chest, firm front leg. A warrior also needs to be open, accepting, loving, 
on the journey towards mastery. A warrior needs to be able to balance the physical, the mental, emotional, energetic, intellectual and spiritual states of being. The heart chakra is right there in the center. It's the bridge between the upper and lower realms, the physical and the spiritual. Another three breaths here. A warrior needs to be able to speak and live their truth and express their views clearly, to be able to live confidently through speech communication. A warrior needs to be able to discern, focus, concentrate, visualize their success, third eye. And a warrior needs to be able to connect to that higher realm, that higher power within, within and without. A warrior needs to be able to gain new knowledge, learn, and turn that learning into understanding and fully and wholeheartedly believe in themselves. Crown chakra, sahasrara, windmill the hands down. Beautiful, step back, downward facing dog. So that was a lesson through the chakras and all the different attributes and characteristics that we can call into becoming our own version of a warrior. Inhale, gaze forward. You can walk, step, or hop towards the top of the mat. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, root to rise. Exhale, hands down through heart center. Inhale, Ukatasana. Bend the knees deep. Send the hip creases back, back, back. Reach the arms high. Can you sit a little bit lower? Last breath. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, step back plank, please. Hold three breaths with me. And lower all the way to the belly. Maybe you lower into chaturanga, then into up dog. I'm lowering to the belly. Inhaling up into cobra pose. Exhale back. We all meet in downward facing dog. Inhale that right leg high. Lead with the inseam of the thigh, just like we did in sunbird. Exhale, bring it through. Coming into Virabhadrasana too. Windmill the arms up. And open. Let's hold for three breaths. Calling in the qualities you most need. If you know the chakra system well that I just cycled through, calling in those attributes. Last breath, and then we'll start to flow here. Next, inhale, straighten the front leg, palms touch overhead. Exhale, Virabhadrasana two. Inhale, reverse the warrior. Exhale, warrior two. We'll do that again. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. And windmill the hands down this time. Option to take a vinyasa here or step back. Meet me in Adho Mukha Svanasana, downward facing dog. We all meet in downward dog. Another breath here. Inhale that left leg high. Again, lead with the inseam. Step it through. Meet me in Virabhadrasana two. That back foot spins out. Heel to arch alignment. Front heel lining up with the inseam or the arch of the back foot. And extend the fingers. 
broaden through the chest. Think about this plumb line that's going straight down through the mat. Left leg is firm, pushing down through the left foot. Another breath here. And inhale, straighten the front leg, palms touch. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, Virabhadrasana two, again. Last one. And windmill the hands down. Step back, or, or sorry, step back. You can vinyasa or meet me in downward facing dog. Last opportunity to vinyasa here. We all meet, final breath and downward dog, really enjoy it. And then soften down to the knees with me, rotate or swing the right leg in front of the left leg, knee to knee, right knee in front, fan the feet out towards the sides of the mat. And you might need to, <laughs> Shimmy your way more towards the back of the mat. We're coming into a puppy pose variation. Gaze forward and walk the hands out. Let the chest soften, but keep the arms firm here. Instead of this being focused on the chest, we're more so pushing our hips back to feel a stretch in the outer hip region. Inhale, lift the gaze, walk the hands in, shift forward, left leg wraps around now, left knee in front, feet still fan out, gaze forward, walk forward with the hands, let the chest lower to the mat, keep the arms firming, push back through the hips by leveraging the hands, the palms of the hands, especially root down to send the hips back. Breath is steady. Focus drawing inward, staying here on the mat, in your practice, in your body. Beautiful. Lift the gaze, walk the hands in, unravel, and meet me in a seated position. You might want to prop yourself up on a block, maybe on a blanket. You can also roll the back of your yoga mat up and use that as a prop. Find that frame once again, interlace or sweep the arms up. Find that frame. Elbow to palm of the hand, palm of the hand to the elbow. Lengthen the side body up, close the eyes, take three deep breaths. Connect with your warrior essence, connect with that personal power, knowing that you can call forth all the qualities of the chakra system to support you in your endeavors to support you with your goals, your dreams, your visions. 
to meet fear, acknowledge fear, and move through it with as much grace and ease as possible and that's available. Inhale here, grow tall. Exhale, release the left hand down to the mat. Bend at the elbow, let the right arm go overhead. Right hip stays heavy. Maybe rotate the chest open, gaze towards the ceiling. And windmill to the other side. Right hand down, elbow bends, left hand reaches overhead, left hip growing heavier. And coming back up to a seated posture. Make any adjustments you need to. We're coming into that mudra practice. And so we'll use this Fasti Mudra today, which is a gesture of well being for protection from negative energy. To do this, bring your hands into prayer position, cross the hands so that the right one is closest to the chest, extend the fingertips up towards the ceiling or sky, and you can relax the shoulders back and down, and the elbows will float in front of the body here. Yep, elbows held slightly away from the body, spine naturally aligned. Feel free to close down your eyes or softly gaze ahead. Continue to softly inhale and exhale through the nose. And as you hold this mudra, this Fasti mudra, for protection from negative energy, I'm going to read a prayer for honoring fear by Pixie Light Horse. Continuing to inhale and exhale through the nose. Stay here, stay present. Thank you for this day of awareness of my intense desire to flee. My fears are stopping me, keeping me small and hidden in a corner. Stand me up and set me free from this tiny room of shadows where my voice wavers and my shoulders shudder. Help me call them out and name them, beckon them forward so I may face them. Be my strength when I order them to back down. When my throat locks up and silence hangs thick on my tongue, energize me with your bright blue light of courage. Arm me with a sword of light to slice through the illusions I mistake for beliefs. Train me to dodge their advances with the mastery of spiritual Aikido and defect them with cuffs of gold. Train me for battle with my worries, troubles, imprints, and memories. Smoothly guide me through the challenges and anxieties of the unknown. Redefine my relationship to uncertainty. Light up the room with a glimpse of life on the other side of these consuming and irrational discouragements. Remind me that few of my fears actually come true, and even if they have, it doesn't mean they always will. Equip me not for the worst that can happen, but with determination to take all things into consideration with a reasonable and quiet mind, no shrinking back reflexively. Give me pause to reflect before re reacting. Let me listen with the heart of a loving parent to the part that's afraid to cross the shaky bridge. Let me not be daunted by a devouring sensation of fright, but instead thank it audibly for its cautionary attempt to protect me from harm. Let me learn a new way to console my fears and talk myself through the process. Demonstrate how I can gently dismantle terror and soothe my uneasiness with the wisdom of what I know to be true. Let my voice feel the fright and speak anyway. It's okay if it trembles, it would not, it will, it will not always be this way if I practice. Help me understand what it will be like to free and take measured steps to get there. Fill me with assurance and hope. A prayer for honoring fear. Let's take a final moment here. One minute. Sitting with whatever feels fearful. Meeting it, allowing it, moving through it. And 
knowing that that inner warrior is our true self, our higher nature. Last 10 seconds here. Final breath. Release the mudra, sweep the arms out to the side. Know that you are not alone. People are practicing with you right in this moment. Palms touch overhead, hug them down into heart center. You are not alone with your fears. We all have them. We're all thinking and feeling them. And we all are wanting to step into and embody that warrior. You are not alone. I'm right beside you. Inhale for Om to seal our practice. Oh, big breath, heavy sigh, start to slowly open your eyes, mm. welcome back to the present moment. To this here now now here experience thank you for joining me on the mat thank you for welcoming me back as i step into my own warrior roles as a teacher and a leader and a new mom so thank you for holding space as this practice feels very foreign and somewhat fearsome right there's these fearful fearings fearful feelings around stepping back into things that are unknown and uncertain and um feel really foreign. So thank you. Uh, I'd love for you to say in the comments, I am a warrior, shout that out loud and tell me something that you're wanting to approach with that warrior like attitude, that warrior like mentality. Tell me what it is that you're working through right now. So if you want to practice yoga like this more holistically, weaving in these different elements like the chakra system, definitely get my yoga reset guide. It's linked in the comments below. It's a full at home chakra reset experience with meditation, self-reflective journal prompts, classes that you can do for free here on YouTube that I recommend, basic chakra teachings, mantras, the whole gamut's in there for you to work through um, on your own at home. Okay. So don't forget to subscribe to support this channel and at home free yoga. And I'll meet you back here on the mat next time.